when you are rubbing shoulders with the top of the top, it's easy to forget you are in fact one of them. Going from being the top of the class to decidedly average is a very hard jump to make. It's a major shock to the system, and dealing with the change from being able to digest all the information immediately to struggling to keep up is hard. The voice at the back of my mind tells me lies. It covers my eyes and hides my achievements, only giving me enough gaps through which to look at my own failures. When my first official anatomy exam result came back as a fail, it felt as if the voice at the back of my head had won. When others in your group seemingly know all the answers, and yet you are there not knowing a single word present on the page, you feel a sense of inferiority. You feel unworthy. I've spent many a listless day just going through the motions, wondering if my acceptance letter was a mistake, or rather some sort of sick practical joke. I walked around feeling numb and out of touch with the world, and yet still looked at people with a smile and pretended that everything was okay. I think I pretended too well. I felt like I was just floating through life. I felt unworthy. And yet, I'm still here. I'm still being strong. For all the numbers of times I've had to bite back tears at the round table, as I'm being asked a question I just do not know the answer to. For all the times I've had to leave lecture content to the holidays just to do more work during term time. And for making it to third year where I can do exactly what I'm interested in. For the future where I'll have a stethoscope around my neck. For when I'll get to see a child smile as they get better. For the future of being a doctor, where I am right now is enough. I am enough. I know that I've worked hard, and no matter what exam results are thrown at me, I remind myself that it's the effect of the institution and not who I am as a person. I've come face to face with this feeling and won the battle. The war may not be over, it may never be over, but any small victory is still a victory. And for you out there listening, if my retelling resonates with you, understand that your struggle is not yours alone. Don't you dare think about keeping everything to yourself. Us medics, we're a stoic bunch. But even we need to reach out and take some of the care we give to others and give it to ourselves. If you ever feel that it's all a bit too much, never be ashamed to let someone know. The night sky has enough stars in it tonight and it doesn't need one more. Take a step back and look at everything that you've achieved and know that what you are doing isn't easy. Focus on the positives and understand how you are feeling and confront it. Stop yourself every time you think of something negative and smile. Push away that negative thought. Don't sit in the self-serving comfort it brings you. Overcoming imposter syndrome relies on you actively confronting the demon at the back of your mind. This too shall pass. Please believe in yourself. You are so much stronger than you think you are.